to the Heartland Husky Boys, Sibo and Topaz, and it's Fan Friday! What is this? Like, Super Lazy Fan Friday? I guess today is Super Lazy Fan Friday. Oakley's like, all sprawled out and asleep. You were just sleeping till I woke you up. I know, rude mama, right? Rude. Fields and Daniel and a couple other people asked, what do you do for exercise for your dogs in the summer? How do you keep the girls active when it gets too hot to do anything? Well, if it's way too hot, your dogs are going to let you know that they don't want to go for a walk or that... Shh, I said that. I didn't spell it. I'm sorry. I didn't really say it out loud. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, They're going to know... That, you know, they're not going to want to go, and, and that's okay, you know, if they don't want to go and be active because it's hot outside, that's okay, it's just like you, you don't want to exercise when it's hot outside, it's not going to be bad for them to take a rest. Uh, one of the things you can do, though, is wait until the evening when it's a little bit cooler and take them then, or early, early in the morning when it's a little bit cooler and take them. Uh, those are some of the things we do. We also, you know, we bike with them, but again, not if it's too hot. Just playing in the yard, hiking in the woods, pretty much all the things we do all year round, we still do in the summer. We just don't go for as long, and we always make sure to have lots of water with us. But that's, I mean, that's pretty much what we do with our girls. They definitely don't need as much activity in the summer, uh, because they're not, you know, it's just too hot. You can't, you can't run them until they pass out, right? What? You were giving me that funny look. I knew you were going to give me that funny look. Some dogs in the summertime will really enjoy swimming, like Shelby. Shelby likes swimming. Shelby, want to go swimming? Want to go get in a pool? She's like, um, no. It's cold outside right now and almost snowing. But Oakley's not a big fan of the pool. Just remember, if it's too hot for you to be out there running, it's probably too hot for them to be out there running. So just try to do it when it's cooler outside. Seriously? Get that ball, Shelby. You get it. You get it. Kathy says, I have four huskies and I would like to know what you recommend for chewing. We use antlers, which Oakley just had one. There's one over there. We use the antlers, which I will put a link in the video description to where you can buy them. We actually sell them in our online store. Um, it's one of the reasons that we always say we use them. We like to promote items that we actually use with our dogs and antlers are one of those items. What, are you looking for your antler? The antlers are, they're all natural. They are naturally shed antlers. Like they don't, what, you want, you want to see your antler? Um, they're definitely hard. It's not something that you want to just let your dogs have when you're not around. You want it to be, as with any hard, <laughs> hard chew, or any chew for that matter, you should be supervising your dogs. What, oh, now you want it? What, Do you, only because I picked it up. You only want it because I picked it up. You guys are a riot. But for chewing, the antlers are very long lasting. It helps keep their teeth clean and they're all natural. There's no additives or anything on them. So that's why we like using the antlers. Tiffany wants to know, at what age were Shelby and Shiloh potty trained? Uh, when we had Shiloh, we got her when she was about 12 weeks old. She was potty trained by the time she was probably 14 weeks old. It didn't take her long at all. Um, we got Shelby when she was six weeks old. Hey, can you come over here so you're not in that blinding white light? Um, and she was probably potty trained about the same time by the time she was about 14 or 15 weeks old. We had very few accidents with her by the time she got to that age. Stephanie wants to know, does the coloring around a husky's eyes go away as they get older? I know some huskies stay dark around their eyes and some just have a white face. It really depends. Some of them get darker as they age and some of them get lighter as they age. Shiloh got lighter as she aged. Shelby got darker as she aged. Um, all this black coloring that you see in Shelby, that was not there when she was a puppy. Uh, she was like basically just cream and white. And of course, we don't really know about Oakley because we adopted her. But over the past year, I think Oakley definitely is getting more lighter in color. Hunter wants to know if Shelby or Oakley have ever had eye or hip problems. When we first got Shelby, she had some problems with her eyes that were caused by some head trauma she had from her mom. And Oakley has, she doesn't really have hip problems, she has back problems and a front left shoulder problem. She has arthritis in her back and in her front left shoulder. Uh, yes, I'm talking about you. 
So we have been taking her to the chiropractor. Haven't we, Oakley? I can hear you. You're going to start talking. Um, we've been taking Oakley to the chiropractor, and it's actually been helping a lot. They adjust her and make her feel better and help her with her arthritis. So hip problems, not really, but back problems and other joint problems, yeah, she's got those. You look so cute right there. In the mail today, we got a little coloring and a letter from Amoriana, and she wants to know how often do you groom and bathe your huskies? Uh, we groom them, we try to groom them every few days, and we bathe them about once or twice a year, only if they really need it. And we got an adorable drawing and a letter from Kaylee, and Kaylee wants to know if we think dogs can help with depression. Actually, yes, Kaylee, there are dogs that are actually certified as therapy dogs to help people who are sad and have depression. So, yes, dogs can definitely help with depression. I mean, just look at that face. They always make you happy. Look at that face. Yes, they always make you happy. They always make your day better. Thanks for laying on my foot, Shelby. I appreciate it. And we got some drawings of the girls from Selena. And we got a letter from Bosco the Husky and Morellis. I hope I said that right. They want to know, why did you choose a Siberian Husky? Um, I think Shiloh chose us. So I don't know if we chose Huskies. I think Shiloh chose us. And we got a cute drawing and a letter from Morgan. And a drawing from Selena. And we got a letter and a coloring from Jessica and her dog, I can't know if I want to say that right, Echoa. What do you think? Is that how you say it? Echoa. And we got a drawing of Shiloh and one of Shelby and Oakley from Derek. That's about all we have for Fan Friday today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you on Monday. What? <coughs> really? What do you think? You gonna chew on your foot? Are you gonna, are you gonna chew on your foot? No. Okay, I'll, I'll do it, Oakley! Alright, I'll feed you dinner now. Okay, okay.